Hey guys, Matt Klein here with Irrigation EDU. I want to take just a quick moment to introduce to you one of my favorite troubleshooting tools that I use uh, pretty consistently in the field, and that is the multifunctional troubleshooting tool. Uh, this particular tool that I have is the Armada Pro 48. Uh, this is my personal uh, multifunctional tool. There are other brands on the market. I think Tempo makes a trouble, multifunctional troubleshooting tool. Uh, I have the Armada brand. I really like it. And I wanted to share with you a couple key features that I use on a consistent basis that helps me be uh, more efficient and productive when it comes to troubleshooting um, wire faults and finding valves and um, those type of uh, obstacles that we face as troubleshooters in the field. And so uh, one of the first things that we use this particular tool for is identifying wire faults. Uh, the Armada Pro 48 uh, will identify opens, shorts, and also will identify a good circuit. And so just by hooking this up to the wire path at the controller or at the solenoid, we can see whether the uh, circuitry of the wire path is good. So I'm gonna do this real quick here. I'm gonna hook this up to a solenoid and we'll see what this does. And we can see here we have a good solenoid. So this wire path for this particular solenoid at the solenoid is good. Uh, and so there's no electrical issues with this. But let's go ahead and try this on another one. I want to show you what a uh, open, if we had an open here, I hook this up here. Again, you can do this at the controller, probably first before you do it with the solenoid. But as you can see, this is an open circuit. So we have an open fault. This uh, solenoid is not good. So, and then we're gonna go, and the other thing it does is it will identify shorts. So, so if you have a shorted wire path, now this particular solenoid, I've simulated a short, but I wanted to show you real quick, real quick here. So we can see we've got a shorted wire path. So that's not a good scenario. So, uh, you know, we don't have to read uh, resistance or ohms with this. So it's kind of a dummy down um, indicator. We don't have to remember 20 to 60 or whatever. It's just gonna tell us whether we got a good circuit, a shorted circuit, or an open circuit. So this is a great, great tool for identifying wire faults. It will also identify uh, voltage at the clock. So we can uh, determine whether we got the necessary 24 volts present to operate the solenoid. So that's another great feature of the multifunctional tool. Um, the other thing that we use this, I use it on a consistent basis, is one of my first steps in trying to find lost valves is I will use the, uh, this multifunctional tool. Now what I'll do is I'll hook this up at the controller and then I will just start walking the property. It's got a chatter feature on it, which I'm gonna show you, hook it up, it will help you identify lost valves. So it doesn't sound very loud, but uh, in the field, if you have a valve you can't find, and you can use the Amata Pro 48 here to hook that up to the wire path, and then just start walking the property and listening for the chatter, um, you will find, you'll find valves. You will I find them all the time. I find them uh, covered over with turf. I'll find them uh, under landscape in mulch. Uh, those type of things. So this does work and it's a great, great feature. I use this all the time. Now I am not endorsing the Armada brand by any means, but merely the technology that the Armada is using with this compact device. I really like it. I do like the Armada Pro 48 though. It's been a great tool and uh, I highly recommend if you're not familiar with this technology, go to your local vendor and ask about a multifunctional troubleshooting tool uh, and start using it in the field today. You will it will increase your uh, efficiency and uh, productivity as a troubleshooter. Thanks.